call. Let's go to Ryan, who's a Crystal Palace fan. Ryan, good evening. Hello, how you doing, boys? Good evening, good. Ryan. A, a top result for you today. Zaha and Eze, for me, watched the game, Ryan. They were absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I know, next level. Like, to be fair, like, the reason I ran up was because the video was ringing up saying that it was a really bad performance. But to be fair, like, we were, I don't think people can smoke at it sometimes, we were, we were decent today. Like, we were class. But Ryan, like, Eze, yeah. can I stop you there? For me, never been a penalty. VAR has stitched Aston Villa up today. That changed the game, 1-1. One, one. And to get that VAR decision. Gabby, to be fair, like, first half with the offside, all right, and VAR offside, but even without the penalty, to be fair, we came out the second half out of the traps, like, and we were, like, we were different gravy today. Like, the, the phases of play, like, the, the pass and the intricacy, like, uh, we'll, uh, yeah. like he, yeah. he, we, were, we were decent. And I don't think, playing like that, even the top clubs, they, they will struggle against us. Because mm. we were... Awesome. Yeah, Rise, your, your line's not great. You're going to have to, have to let you go. Gabs, Crystal Palace absolutely did a number on you today. I agree, but let's speak about VAR, please, because, Jamie, you can't jump. Stonewall. Stonewall. You can't, Stonewall. No, listen. It's Stonewall. <laughs> Stop it. Listen, Inye has jumped to win the header, and you can't jump with your arms right by your side. Come on, where does, like, common sense come into it? You know, when, when I saw it, I was like, no way, that's a penalty. Come on, don't you dare. Do not dare give that a penalty. Because now... Defenders are going to think to themselves, I'm better off not jumping, let the striker have a header, hope mm. the keeper saves it, rather than give away a penalty jumping. Yeah. What's it come to now, football? Well, like that? We, and that changes look, the seeing, game. As much as Palace were, Palace were a better team for majority of their game, but that changed the game. 1-1 one, one until that incident. That's, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's not good enough. It, it wasn't good enough. But it, you've seen now, Gabs, with VAR, Mike Dean, he come out and said the other day that he made a mistake. Uh, he's probably I mean, watching he's, a, a different game. Mike Dean, knowing him. <laughs> Honestly. I, they're getting them wrong. Him. For me, if you see, you'll see it later on, I'm sure. If you haven't seen it, it was a handball um, in the box. He's jumped and he's, uh, they give away a penalty Aston Villa. It's, ne it's never been. It's never been. But you see what annoys handball. me though, Jamie? Like the, the World Cup's coming up. What if a decision like that cost England the World Cup? This is this is what that's what's going to happen. It's going to cost a team big time, a country in a big tournament, in a Champions League game, keeping someone in the Premier League, costing someone top four. That is not a handball. Come on, common sense. I just don't get. Honestly, I'm baffled. Baffled. Yeah. Let's go to Stephen, who's an Everton fan. Stephen, good evening. Hello, fellas. How are we doing? Yeah, good we, evening. Good, good, Steve. Look, you drew one all today. Damari Gray, great goal in the end. Um, but you need to be winning them games against teams like that. Otherwise, you're going to be in it this season. I can see he's really having a relegation scrap. Well, that's it, mate. I, I've come away from that game and I can't help but feel we're banging in trouble again this season. Um, there's no cutting edge in the team. We've been left with Rondon as our only fit striker so far this year. So, you know, the goals aren't going to be there unless we get something done these next couple of weeks. Mm. Um, but, so it, yeah. It's looking grim for us. But Stephen, even... I understand you You need a goal scorer, you need a striker, but Forrest had some good chances. You know, Forrest come to Goodison Park and pull it on you. I think there was other, other parts of that team that didn't perform today. Oh, without a doubt. Um, but the weird thing is, I entered this season thinking we'd sorted out our, our defence. I was really happy with Cody mm. and Tarkovsky coming in, and Tarkovsky wasn't at it today. Um, so... <laughs> defensively and offensively we're looking weak and and as for Anthony Gordon if Chelsea are happy to pay 50 million for him then I'd, I'd, I'd drive him there myself because the oh, lad really? I don't know I if know a lot of Everton fans will agree with you I, I know he's young and, and I might live to regret it in five years time when he when he's banging them in in Champions League finals but for me he's played I think he's played for the club 53 times I think he's got four goals for us if you're playing in a front three, we need goals and we need assists, and the lad hasn't hasn't delivered. Mm. Right. So I, I, I disagree with you that one, like Steve. I, I don't think there's going to be many Everton fans out there that would agree with you. I really don't. What, what, what do you think about his game? Warrants fifty million. I can't. I can't see. Well, he's it. young. You he's got talent. He it's drives just, with the ball. He's confident. He's English. He's English. You pay a premium for that. And you know he he will develop into a top class player. That's what you're paying for. It's an investment. I, I just can't see it. I, I, and right now, we, we need players in the squad that are going to give us goals and assists to keep us up because at this rate, we'll be in another relegation battle. He's had three games and he hasn't done anything in any any, any of them. Um, he had a few a few shots on target today, but other than that, he, del he delivered nothing. Mm. 
You know, yeah. Damari Gray, to which credit, he's got more Premier League experience uh, and he came up with the goods at the end and, and, and got us a point that might yeah. might get us out of trouble later down the later down the year. But I don't know. I just think we're banging trouble. All right, Steve, thanks for your call and keep them coming in. I want to hear from some fans in the EFL, some big, big performances. Burnley, free all. West Brom finally get a decent result, 5-2 against Hull. Have your say, 03 717 22 33 